Hey guys, my name is Jeremy kl 70 c uh, If this is your first time visiting the channel, please think about hitting that subscribe button and following me on all of my Alaska adventures. So today we're going to do something a little different. Ted Radio was nice enough to send me this TDH8. This is the second gen um, for free for the making of this video. So let's roll that beautiful Ted Radio footage. I feel like that could be a copyright. When you open your TID radio box, you're going to find the HT, a uh, rubber ducky style antenna, a pretty nice belt clip, the 2500 milliamp hour battery, a nice desktop charger um, with a USB-C cable, a in-depth manual, and a little information card. So this is the TID radio TD H8. It is a dual band VHF UHF. Um, it's got USB C charging and it's got a 2500 uh, milliamp hour battery. So, when I first got this thing, I was, uh, was kind of skeptical at first. Uh, but, I mean, it just has it just has a good feel to it. It's, uh, it's not cheap by no means. Uh, it doesn't appear. It's got a good, uh, good rugged case. Uh, I was actually very impressed with the with the quality. What I thought was an awesome feature for this HT to uh, program repeaters. You don't, so it's 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 fairly simple. You just download the app on your phone, um, punch everything in, then you Bluetooth this to your phone, and then it just rots everything uh, to this. So that's uh, that's pretty sweet. So one cool feature that I absolutely love about the TID Radio is that you don't have to. You don't have to bring the desktop charger everywhere you go. Um, if you're doing a poda park or uh, uh, summits on the air, you know you're camping three, four, five days, however long, and you know you're you're making some contacts with the HT, and uh, you're listening to some FM radio at night, then using your flashlight, and you happen to run the battery down. It's just one big bulky thing that you don't have to pack. Um, all what you have to do is take your USB-C cable and there's a uh, connector right here and it's just a matter of, and now we're charging. How cool is that? I mean, technology has come so far and uh, I don't see why this is not on every single HT. Uh, the ability to charge it without the desktop charger and the ability to uh, write to the radio using Bluetooth app on your phone is it's just incredible to me. So that is, uh, that's pretty cool uh, that you have this option of charging this out in the field. So this here is your power switch and volume control and to turn the radio on. It's just a matter of turning it up. Welcome. So right off the bat here, you're going to see this uh, amazing display. Uh, up top, you have your your power meter, um, doing two watts, five watts, or the full ten watts. You have what uh, frequency selector you have. Uh, this is your battery indicator. Um, down on the bottom, you have your A B bands, and to switch between the two, you would just hit this button, and then that will change between the two. Um, on the side, you have your PTT, and then you also have two function buttons. And, and these work in, uh, so they have a short press or a long press. And these could be customized to uh, about anything you would like. That was a short press, or I could do a long press. Okay, radio. Five below, five above. Uh, the menu button. Menu. Uh, and you would just hit your up and down arrow to scroll through the menus. Um, so let's say we want to go to TX power or transmit power and we can change that by hitting menu again and then that will flip it to where we can change this to high, low, medium. And then to save that we will hit menu again. Confirm. That confirms it and then we're back into the menu. Our beeps for our keypad so we can, we want to turn that off, we can. Confirm. Save that. 
Uh, so this is uh, the Tom Out Timer, uh, and it's uh, it's a preset for 60 seconds. So if you're using the Vox, uh, you can set a, a timer. That way you're not uh, gibbering anything you don't want to gibber. Um, let's see, receiving DCS, uh, receiving CTCSS, transmitting DCS, voice prompts, uh, or transmit select. Uh, scan add, scan mode. This is the FM dual watch, channel A display, channel B display. This is the, the busy channel lock. Auto keypad lock, frequency offset direction, frequency offset, our channel store, uh, our channel delete, alarm mode, scan of frequency with CTCSS. Uh, this is a Roger beep, so we definitely want that off. Uh, repeater tone, language, uh, frequency hopping system. Uh, this is our reset, dual band single display, PTTID, PTM FST, uh, squatch to elimination of a repeater, and our squatch delay, tail off a repeater, and what version we're currently running. So, 45 different uh, things that you can uh, play around with. All right, let's do some audio tests uh, with the TID radio. So we use the FT-847 to see what the TID radio sounds like, and we'll use the FT-847 to see what the received audio on the TID radio sounds like. So now I will only be about 100 foot away or so, so um, it, it, it's really not a perfect test, but at least we'll get to see kind of how each sound uh on the receive end of this and what the TID radio sounds like on the receive end of the 847. So let's do that. This is Kel 70C doing an audio test of the TID radio. Test one, two, three, four. This is Kel 70C. This is Kel 70C doing a receive audio test of the TID radio. Test one, two, three, four. This is Kel 70C. So there you have it. That is the receive and the transmit audio of the TID radio. Now, both of these uh, receive and transmit audios are completely raw. I have done no alterations to the, the sound quality at all. So what you hear is raw. So I've had the TID radio TDH8 for a couple months now, and uh, I was able to take it out on some of my POTA activations and uh, I just wanted to see how it would handle the cold, uh, some some very cold temperatures uh, down into the negative 30s. And it did just fine. Um, the one trip we were, I was out doing the pod activation where it hit negative 34 degrees. I was listening to some FM radio uh, using the TID radio. So of course it wasn't that cold in the, uh, in the hut, but Nonetheless, it survived the trip on the snow machine, um, being in the cold for you know a good 30, 45 minutes, and there's absolutely uh, nothing wrong with the radio. It worked just as it should. Um, so I'm I'm highly impressed with the rig itself. So just do a recap. This is the TID radio TDH8. It is a dual band uh, VHF UHF uh, transceiver. It has the ability to 2 watts, 5 watts, or uh, 10 watts. I don't have a way to fully test it, uh, but there's a few videos uh, um, on YouTube that uh, they were able to test it. So you can check out um, if you're very curious of what the actual output of these are. But, so we have the FM radio, the lot the ability to Bluetooth uh, to the radio to route your frequencies for repeaters and the ability to charge your radio out in the field is uh, it's, it's just awesome to me. So if you are interested in the TID radio TDH8, look in the description below. I do have an affiliate link or you can go to tidradio.com 
and pick anything you want and in the discount code put KL70C. Um, it is an affiliate link. I do get a small commission off of each sell. Um, so if you're interested in it, it helps both you and the channel out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video finds you well. And until next time, 730.